Hi there everybody, Ray Sidney Smith here with Focus at Work, and in this video I'll be talking about how to set up and use the new Remember the Milk Gmail add-on. And so I am an Evernote certified consultant and Google Small Business Advisor for Productivity, if you don't already know me. And uh, so let's get into the interface for Google and work through not only setting up the Remember the Milk for Gmail add-on. We'll then also go through how it works, look at its settings, and then I'll show you also how to uninstall it uh, should you want to. So let's hop over to the Gmail interface. And what we do is here in the inbox, you have to be logged into Gmail for you to be able to do this whole process. You'll log into your Gmail account and you can add an add-on in two different places. You can click on the gear icon in the top right hand corner, click get add-ons, or you can go ahead here and click on the get add-ons icon in the uh, sidebar, which is where all of your add-ons for Gmail are located. So we're gonna go ahead and click on the get add-ons icon and up here in the uh, G Suite Marketplace pop-up window, we're just gonna go ahead and type in remember the milk. As you can see, I just typed in remember and it al already populated the Remember the Milk for Gmail uh, search. You can see here now that the card for Remember the Milk is um, highlighted. Um, if I click on that, you're gonna see an option for me to go ahead and install it. You're gonna click on install. It's then going to pop up a window for you to accept the terms of service as well as the privacy policy. Then you're gonna have to connect your Google account. It'll ask you to allow it um, access to your Google account, then it'll ask you for allowance to various features of the Google account. You'll allow both of those, and then voila, the icon will then appear here. After these three dots icons finish refreshing your system, you will then see your Remember the Milk for Gmail add-on, and it's installed, okay? Now, once you have it installed, you will see that when you click on the icon, you have to have an email open in order to be able to interact with the add-on altogether, even seeing its settings, okay? Um, now, I haven't yet connected the add-on to Remember the Milk to the uh, specific account in this demo account, uh, so I just wanna show that to you, and then we'll get started. So here, I've opened up an email, just a, uh, an email that I've received, and I say, oh, you know what? I wanna go ahead and do some action associated with this email. I go ahead and click on the Remember the Milk, icon, it will go ahead and ask me to connect to Remember the Milk. So I'll click on connect to Remember the Milk. And in this particular case, I'm going to log in uh, to my demo account to be able to do that. So you'll log into your Remember the Milk application. And in this particular case, I'm already logged in through, through Google. So it gives me this pop-up window and it shows me already inside of the account. I'm going to close out of it and that's going to give me the connect to Remember the Milk page again. So if you're already logged into, into Remember the Milk, it seems to have a little bit of an issue there. But either way, I'm going to click Connect to Remember the Milk, and it's going to take me to the API page. And, uh, and then if I were not already logged into my account, it would ask, ask me to log in and verify the access to the system. So you'll click on that OK, I'll allow button, and then it'll take you in. Okay, It didn't show me that here, but it will show it to you when you do it that first time. Okay. So once I've done that, I've now connected both my Gmail account to, that is the add-on to my Gmail account, and I've connected now Gmail to this Remember the Milk uh, service. So I have the add task window open, and as you can see here, what it does is by default pulls in the sender's name. In this particular case, it was sent by Google Alerts, and it adds Ray, and then it says Google Alert for Google, and that is the subject line. Okay, so it adds the sender's name, then Ray, and then the subject line. We're gonna be able to change that and I'll show you how that works in a bit. But down here, we now have some of the fields that are available in the Remember the Milk interface. Priority, we can change the list from inbox to another list in our system. We can assign it to someone from the give to field. We can set a due date. And again, that's in natural language. So I can write in 5 p.m. tomorrow, Friday or December 30th at 9 a.m. and it'll know how to parse that into the appropriate due date. I can then add tags. Uh, for example, I can go ahead and um, set a tag called Gmail. And then of course I can add notes and I can also include the content of this email as a note in the new task that's created. So I'm gonna go ahead and click add task and this is now gonna get sucked into Remember the Milk. And if I wanted to see the task, I could quickly go ahead and click on the view the task on Remember the Milk, 
and now in a new tab, I've gone ahead and opened it and I'll check that out in a moment. But I wanted to go through the settings. So if we click on the more actions icon up here, at any time that you have the sidebar open and you have an email open with the sidebar open, you'll be able to click on the more, uh, more actions icon here, the little three dots icon, and it will give you an option for settings. So if we click on settings, it'll go ahead and open up the settings option. And as I said before, it pulls in the sender name, Ray, and then the subject as the default task name format. We can go ahead and change that to just the subject name uh, if we just want the subject name of the email, the subject of the email uh, to be pulled in alone. So in my case, I do actually like having the sender's name and the subject both in the, in the, in the at task, just because once I do get it into remember the milk into my inbox, I'll then be able to further understand context and why that email has been pulled in as a task. And that helps me to identify the next action associated with it but you can obviously change that if you want to. You can set default tags. You can have it always tagged as Gmail, for example, so that you'll know every item that has been pulled in through Gmail from a search of those tags or a filtering with that, with that tag. Uh, you can always include uh, the content of the email as a note, but I'll show you in a moment why you may not need that. So uh, those are your uh, three options that are in here. You can always sign out and sign into that account uh, from this settings page. So if you have multiple Remember the Milk accounts or if you just don't want it connected all the time, you can go ahead and disconnect it here. And then when you log into the Gmail interface, it will go ahead and ask you to uh, log in. Okay, so in essence, that's really how this all works. Let's hop over to the interface itself. And you can see here, this is the one that I just uh, uh, sucked into Remember the Milk. And so it's highlighted and selected and you can see I even added the Gmail tag. Note that this Gmail tag did not exist before I added it in the system. So you can add new tags to the Gmail interface uh, you know, into Remember the Milk and it will add the new tag to the system if it didn't already exist. Now, here goes the task. Any contents of the email that you copied into the system will be down here as a note. And then you have this wonderful little link. So this is why I don't think you particularly need to copy the content of the email into the note, unless you really need to. But in this case, you're actually gonna see this linked with, and this happens with the Evernote uh, connection or the Evernote integration with Remember the Milk as well. It'll say here linked with, and then it'll show the Evernote icon. Well, when I click this email, it's gonna pop me back over to the email that I came from in Gmail. So Remember the Milk knows how to anchor that link to that specific email and take us back to it should we need it which is just really great, okay? So you can go ahead and edit your task here as much as you want. Uh, none of this is going to modify or change anything in the Gmail interface. The Gmail email is just linked here for you to uh, be able to access later. So I really like that integration. And uh, so then back here in the Gmail interface, um, if you should ever desire to then remove the icon, the, the, the Remember the Milk add-on, uh, we're gonna go ahead and hop back into the add-ons and so once you're back in the add-ons interface, again, you're just gonna search for Remember the Milk for Gmail. You're gonna find the add-on, and then you're gonna click the uninstall option underneath the three dots icon. So you're gonna click on that three dots icon, click uninstall, and it will remove it from the interface. Now, I would recommend that you disconnect, you know, sign out of your Remember the Milk account first from the settings sidebar and making sure that that's signed out first and then uninstall, just for safety if you for some reason ever did want to disconnect from the service completely. And, uh, and then there you have it. You, you would have all, I didn't do it right now, but you would have uninstalled the Remember the Milk uh, add-on. And I don't know why you would want to. It's such a fantastic uh, addition. At some point, hopefully we'll be able to add tasks to Remember the Milk without the use of uh, you know being connected to the email. But in essence, you can kind of hack the system here. That is, if you open up any email, you can basically open up the Remember the Milk sidebar and you can change this to whatever you want. And it's now linked to this email, but it really doesn't matter. So you can kind of hack the system that way. Um, I wouldn't particularly use it. You can't see your current actions 
that are in Remember the Milk, you do still have to open up Remember the Milk to be able to see it. And that's a limitation of Google and Gmail, not a limitation of Remember the Milk. Uh, but hopefully and eventually those uh, features will, of course, uh, adapt and, uh, and grow as it goes along. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you enjoy using the Remember the Milk for Gmail add-on. And again, this is Ray Sidney Smith with Focus at Work. Take care.